Hello, welcome to High Time, a cookery show where the food is second place only to the big questions that we tackle in the show. Today, we're making a bit of a bit of a tie-in to something that we've done before: spicy tricey fries. Link down below. I do that bit. This is one of my most favourite things to make: chicken on ciabatta with crunchy lettuce, sweet roasted peppers, and honey mayonnaise. We're doing tricey spicy chicken. Now we're not, we're, we're not cooking the chicken three times or anything, we'll get into that in a bit. Tricey spicy chicken with honey mayonnaise on a crunchy tomato roll. My name's Matt. His name is Ulton. Hello. There's Doug. Make sure you hit the, the like button and the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications as soon as we release a video. Down in the description is contact where you can get us everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we have Patreon coming soon and a website. All that, all that jobbing's coming soon. Uh, the subreddit where you can give us recipes to try out. Comment down below, let us know if you like what we're doing, want us any suggestions, anything like that. Throw us a, a comment, get involved in the show. Uh, in the meantime, it's high time. We made a roll that I said the name of a minute ago. Chicken, put some chicken here. I'm gonna put some, some sea hair shit on this. This is my tricey spicy mix. So in here, I have crushed chilies, crushed fresh chilies. I have some cayenne pepper, and I have some hot paprika. This is just a little bit of oil, a little bit of uh, olive oil. There's some pepper and salt in there as well. And this is just gonna be brushed onto our chicken. If you, if you know when you're going to be hungry, you can marinate it ahead of time, or you can just put the stuff on the chicken and do it now. It's your call. Whatever, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do it now instead of marinating it ahead of time. So I'm gonna start, and then Ulton's gonna cook the chicken bean all pasted and brushed and stuff with all the lovely stuff. Got a pan going here. Get the heat under that. Got a nice hot heat on that. These are our peppers that we're gonna use. Long, pointy, sweet peppers. So we're gonna take the tops off them. So the peppers go from this to this. Nice strips of peppers. Leave them whole like that. You can roast them in the oven, a little bit of oil, a little bit of seasoning or shit, and they cook lovely as well. I'm just gonna put them on the pan here after I've cooked the chicken, so you get like some, some more of the spice that's gonna be left in there from the chicken. Onto your peppers, that's gonna be lovely. I'm using fresh ciabatta rolls from the local bakery. I didn't bake these. You know, we don't make our own sausages, do we? No. We don't bake our own bread, do we? No. Because we've made our own cookies and that explains why that happened. <laughs> fresh ciabatta rolls, I'm gonna slice these up. You can warm them in the oven, but these are fresh. Like, these were made fresh this morning, so. This is my uh, tribute slash homage slash decimation of the chicken fillet roll. What is the appeal of chicken fillet roll? I'll tell you what the appeal of chicken fillet roll is. They're amazing. They're disgusting in every sense of, of, of description, but they're also amazing. Ulton can testify. Absolutely. You know, whether it's plain or spicy, butter or mayo, huh? or both, if you want to end up like me. It's just like everywhere you go, they sell chicken fillet rolls. So I said, you know what? Let's do a nice chicken fillet roll. Get that right in there, hear that sizzle. Put it on um, that side for a number of minutes, and then flip it over for another number of minutes, and then you'll have a cooked chicken back. When you've got a bit of color on one side, flip them over. And then do one of them, <coughs> that's the spices that are heating up, <coughs> and you're dying. On a serious note, when you're cooking with chicken, always wash your hands and keep your stuff clean, because, you know, you can get very sick from raw chicken. You know, it's, a, it's a, not a nice way to die from, you know, from dodgy stuff to do with chicken. Keep all your stuff clean and, and, and cross-contamination free. That's what I say. That's a uh, public self. Public, public, public uh, service announcement. <coughs> oh, there it is, yeah. There it is. I'll put that out for a second. We're gonna finish off the chicken in the oven. Otherwise, we're gonna die in here. Hot oven, till it's done. While that's going on, we're gonna get our peppers done. Touch of oil, not too much, and get your peppers down in there. So what have we learned? 
from today's video so far. One, chicken filler roll is an abomination that needs to be upgraded immediately. We're doing that. Two, <coughs> I can't cook. Three, if that's the foundation of this channel, we're kind of screwed. What did you learn from today's episode? That's what I learned. You probably didn't learn anything. You know where the chicken filler roll was invented, Ulton? No, lay it on me. Lay it on me. In a village in Roscommon, about four weeks ago, this man discovered that he could put a chicken filler on a roll. And since then, the rest is history. That's up there with like 1916. And funnily enough, if, if you dig around deep enough into our young constitution, you'll find at the bottom uh, where the bit, or in the part, I've never read it, the part where it says, you know, all men created equal. Is that our constitution? Sure. I'm sure, there's, there's, I'm sure the sentiment is in there somewhere. But uh, right under that, uh, it mentions chicken finger rolls. Oh yeah, I read that <laughs> bit. All men created equal. All men deserve a chicken filler roll. Tomato rolls. This is honey mayonnaise. This is going to cut through all the spice in the chicken. It's going to it's going to bring balance to the dish. You know, because 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 we like a bit of balance, don't we? Who doesn't like a bit of balance? No one I know. No one I know either. And I don't know no one. Just get some of that on your roll. What kind of lettuce do you like, Alton? Name me six types of lettuce. Iceberg. Yeah. One. Um, iceberg. Iceberg. Same, same one. It's the same one you said that. Uh, gem. Baby gem. Cos. Uh, lamb's leaf. Lucky. Lamb's leaf. And then you have um, the pointy scraggly lettuce. Oh, yes, I'm familiar. Yeah, you have the purpley kind of lettuce. Mm -hmm. And then you have the mixed leaves that people just seem to put in everything these days. Yeah. That's six, isn't it? That's oh, yeah, <coughs> more than six, I think. I think we're, I think we're good. I think we'll be good. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, I did nothing else to clean check your sciences. We are you using baby jam? Oh, washed. Oh, lovely. All going on here. Nearly ready for the for the spicy, spicy chicken filler roll. Anybody goes into a garage and asks them for a high time spicy, spicy chicken filler roll, I'll pay your mortgage for a year. I will. It'll be it'll be cool though. If anyone does that, you know, let us know about it and link it to us. That'd be great to see. That would. Walk, somebody walking into a garage somewhere in Leitrim. No one's watching Leitrim. <laughs> Everything's in black and white down there. Up there. Where are we? What? <laughs> That's it, so before we do any more choking and coughing on the, on the hot spices, uh, this has been our video, new one every week. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the bell button so you get notified for all of our new videos. Down here in the comment in the description is links to all our social media, especially a subreddit where you can drop in recipes and ideas. Drop in the comment, get involved in the show, tell us what you want to see next. Tell us what, if you've made anything we've done, how it turned out. Get involved in the show. Lots more coming soon. We'll see you next week. It's high time. We had a choicey spicy chicken filler roll. Phew! Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I was half worried because of the the spices floating around the room after hitting the pan. I was like, this is gonna be too spicy for me. Not big on the spice. But that is that is lovely. I don't know if it's just because it's cooked in or because of the honey and mayonnaise. That's mm. fun. But it's sublime. It is. Throw some spicy spicy fries on the side of that. Mm -hmm. If anyone wants to make a restaurant that cooks only high time food, mm -hmm. we'll be happy to let you if you just give us money. Work away, go nuts. Give us a few quid. Or a couple of your book. Mm -hmm. Do it, just give us some money. Yeah. You do the work, so we don't have to. <laughs> it's the YouTube way. <laughs>